This is awesome. We're here at Lego Mission Control, and everybody is where everybody is. Where is everybody? Okay, everything's fine. I'm sure everyone hit their deadlines before they left because they know we have a big mission coming up and they would never, <laughs> I mean, hello there. I'm Daniel, Lego Space Team Program Manager, and everything is going great. <laughs> So you might be wondering what I do around here. Well, I lead a whole team of folks from different areas who are apparently not here at the moment. But when they are, I make sure everything is going smoothly. Everyone understands our goals and objectives and is working together to make sure we achieve them on time. As the program manager, I have to have a deep toolbox of skills to call on. From project planning to managing a space team, I have to be able to do it all. Speaking of spacecrafts, my friend Katherine Kerner is the manager for NASA's Orion program. She's leading the team that's developing NASA's newest spacecraft. You know, the one that's going to take our astronauts around the moon. Well, guess what? She said she'd come and tell you a little bit about her role and what it's like to work on such an amazing program. Hi, Daniel, and hello, everyone. I'm Kathy Kerner, and I'm the manager for NASA's Orion program. I'm responsible for the development and operations of NASA's newest spacecraft called Orion. It will carry astronauts on Artemis missions to the moon. Orion is made up of three elements. The crew module, this is the habitable part of the spacecraft where astronauts will live and work. The service module, which provides power and propulsion, and the launch abort system, which can carry our crew to safety in case of a problem during launch. Orion is launched into space on the world's most powerful rocket, the Space Launch System. The Artemis I mission will mark Orion's first test flight with the Space Launch System rocket. As the program manager, I oversee design, development, building, and testing of Orion, and that means I always have something to do. start off my career as the Ryan program manager, though. I started off as a kid who was interested in space. I grew up watching NASA's Apollo program. Those were the first missions to take our astronauts to the moon. Watching the first moon landings inspired me, and ever since then, I've been fascinated by space. I knew I wanted to work at NASA and so pursued engineering. I earned my Bachelor and Master of Science degrees in Aeronautical and Astronautical Engineering from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. In school, I developed not only my engineering skills, but my leadership, communication, and teamwork skills. These skills helped me advance from my first job, which was working on robotic Mars missions at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I then worked as a flight controller and became a flight director at NASA's mission control at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. As a flight director, I led teams in mission control during space shuttle and international space station missions. After that, I was the director of human health and performance directorate at Johnson Space Center. This is NASA's organization focused on protecting astronauts' health in space and making sure that they can successfully perform their missions. In that role, I led the teams that have been working on improving how humans live and work in space, protecting their health and engineering and developing the systems that they'll use during their missions. Those aspects are also very important to consider for astronauts that will travel into deep space in Orion. So I have been able to carry what I learned from that job over to my role as the Orion Program Manager. As I mentioned earlier, being a program manager means being in charge of teams designing, building, and testing Orion. And Orion is a big project. Thousands of people are working on different parts of the spacecraft across the United States and Europe. It takes strong planning, collaboration, and innovation from everyone involved. 
it's my responsibility to make sure that everyone's on track and to ensure the pieces come together so that Orion is ready to go on launch day. When time comes for Orion's first flight test to the moon, Artemis 1, our spacecraft will launch on top of the Space Launch System rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. I'll be at Kennedy monitoring Orion with our team and working with them to make sure all of the spacecraft systems are ready for takeoff. It's gonna be very exciting and I can't wait for you to see it. Well, Daniel, I have to get back to the team. Artemis 1 is coming up and we have a lot to do to get ready. It was great talking to you. Thanks so much for joining us today, Catherine. It was really cool to hear about all the different people and teams you work with as a program manager. And it's no coincidence that this week's mission is all about teamwork and how important it is for all the members of a space team to communicate and work together seamlessly. Teamwork is not only the key to a successful mission, it's also what keeps our astronauts safe, especially when they're doing things like spacewalks. Let's check out a story about a particular spacewalk when teamwork really saved the day. Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano was on a spacewalk to complete some basic maintenance chores on the International Space Station. About 45 minutes into the spacewalk, Luca noticed that there was water inside his helmet, and so he called down to Earth to describe what he was experiencing to the Mission Control Center. I feel a lot of water on the back of my head, but I don't think it's leaked from my back. Are you sweating? Are you working hard? Um, I am sweating, but it feels like a lot of water. Luca's crewmates and the team on the ground were really listening to Luca, so they understood it was a very serious situation. The mission control team immediately began to work together to discuss why there might be water in the helmet and what Luca should do about it. The other astronaut on the spacewalk, Chris Cassidy, then left what he was doing and came over to check on his crewmate, confirming that there was water in Luca's helmet. It's hard to tell, but it feels like a lot of water. Oh, I see, yeah. Uh... The mission control team then gave the command to abort the spacewalk and come back inside the space station. All right, Chris and Luca, just for you guys, uh, based on what we heard with Luca saying that uh, water is in his eyes now and it seems to be increasing, uh, we think we're going to terminate EVA case for EV2. So Luca began to make his way to the door, or hatch as we call it, of the space station, but by this time the water covered his eyes and it kept getting into his nose and his ears. So Luca kept his cool, he made it back to the space station where all of his crewmates were waiting to help him. So they quickly got him inside, they removed his helmet, and then they used towels to clear the water clinging from his eyes, nose, and ears. So Luca made it back safely because the entire team, and so this is both the space team and the team on the ground at Mission Control, were communicating very well, and they practiced excellent teamwork. Wow, it's great to see how the team in space and on the ground came together to make sure astronaut Parmitano was safe. NASA has a lot of specialized teams that work together to complete large complex tasks. You can imagine how much planning it takes to make sure everything comes together the right way. This week, it's your turn to work together to build a prototype rocket. And my friend Mindy is here to walk you through it. Thanks for having me, Daniel, and letting me talk about Steamwork is Teamwork. This is going to be a great mission. Think about a time that you worked with another person to accomplish a task. Did you work together on all parts of the task? Or did you each take a part of the task to complete and then put the parts together to finish it? NASA often works in specialized teams to complete large tasks. Each team does a piece of the task based on their area of specialty, and then all the teams put their pieces together. This takes a lot of planning to ensure that all the pieces will work together in the end. All right, students, now reflect on these questions. How does NASA work in specialized teams to create the components of a space launch system? What is important to think about when creating individual parts separately that need to come together to work as one in the end? Now it's your turn to work together to assemble a prototype space launch system. Work in a team of three people. One person should build stage one or the base of the rocket that includes the main engines. The second person will build stage two or the middle of the rocket that includes the propellant. The third person will build the launch abort system for the rocket and the Orion crew module. 
the launch abort system, is located at the top of the rocket and fits over the Orion crew module. The launch abort system protects astronauts if a problem arises during launch by pulling the spacecraft away from a failing rocket. After all three stages are complete, you will work together to stack or assemble the Space Launch System and Orion Crew capsule. Remember, it will be important to communicate with each other about your individual pieces to ensure they will fit together in the end. Brainstorm and sketch out your ideas. Build, test, and rebuild on your models. If it doesn't work, that's okay. You can try something new. Be sure to leave enough time for all students to share their prototypes and explain why this is the best fit for the problem they were trying to solve. Well, I'm excited to see what you are all capable of when you work together. I have a feeling these rockets are going to be out of this world. <laughs> I've been waiting the entire time to make that joke. And now I'll see myself out. Daniel, take it away. Everybody loves a space joke. Thanks, Mindy, for taking us through this week's mission. And thanks to everyone who joined us today. Don't forget to send us your builds on the LEGO Education community or post on social media with hashtag build to launch We might even feature it in our next mission briefing. We'll see you next week.